right and check this out here in the bazaars of Kabul we've got a bunch of old American army food that's been left over this is absolutely mental so these have obviously been left behind by America wow dude we've even got Reese's Pieces these are my favorite candies of all time yeah these have obviously been left behind by America and then looted from sort of bases I guess after America left I tell you what, how about we buy a bunch of American army food and we'll taste test it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Right, so we've got some beverage-based cranberry grape. We'll get one of those. We'll get some peanut butter. No, I don't want peanut butter. We'll get a chocolate flavor nutritious energy bar. We'll try one of those. We'll definitely get some Reese's Pieces. I've been missing those. And um, we'll take some pretzels. And uh, what else can we get? This is um, Southwest style beef and black beans. Yeah, let's try some Southwest style beef and black beans as well. Ready to eat apparently, so that'll be easy. And we've even got mini Tabascos available, which is insane. Uh, we probably don't need that. We've also got Starkist Tuna Creations Lemon Pepper. I actually can't think of anything worse than eating that. We will not be trying this. Actually, we've got cheese spread with bacon as well. It's very, very unusual to see anything with bacon in Afghanistan. So we'll give this a go as well. Wow, right. And here we've also got like a bunch of American cereals that have clearly been left over. You've got uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, a load of Dr. Pepper as well. Crepe Kool-Aid. Man, this is crazy. There are so many American groceries here. You've even got a box of Frosty Flakes. Right, so all of that Department of Defense approved American army food was Yauso Shul Afghani, 120 Afghanis, about $2. And I'm really excited to try it actually. It's sort of mental to think about like the amount of stuff that's been left behind by America in Afghanistan, food weapons just like all sorts of supplies what an absolute waste man but at least it's going to make for a good video today boom quick location switch in full disclosure i did not have time to finish making this video in afghanistan so we are back in my apartment in Peshawar, and we are ready to taste some of the american department of defense approved food so here we are at the tasting table. We've got our goodies ready to go. In full disclosure, I did already eat the Reese's Pieces. Um, I just couldn't help myself. I just love them so much. And these are the real deal, just so you can see here. Department of Defense, United States of America. And you can see here also, uh, US government property, commercial resale is unlawful. And it's sort of so interesting to think, man, that like, people might be watching this video who were like, in the US military and who are like really, really well familiar with this food. Like this is the sort of stuff they would have been eating on a daily basis. And then like, I'm just getting to try it after it's been left behind. So in that sense, yeah, if you were in Afghanistan and you are familiar with any of these foods, um, let me know, I guess, drop a comment, let me know what you thought of them. And uh, yeah, tell me what your favorites and your least favorites were. So we'll start with this, I guess. This seems fairly inoffensive. Beverage-based cranberry and grape. I guess it's like a drink additive or something you add it to your water bottle. We don't have any ice cold water at hand, so I guess this will have to do. I do apologize for my filthy apartment as well, by the way. Alrighty, so this is our cranberry and grape drink. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's a darker color than I was expecting. It sort of looks like red wine. It's bringing me back to Australia. We'll put the lid back on that one, give it a good shake up so it's nice and mixed. Yeah, it's fine. Nothing to write home about. Just sort of tastes like a stock standard, like grape flavored drink, I guess, which is what it's meant to be. So uh, yeah, no complaints there. It'd probably be better if it was in, you know, like icy cold water, but um, 45 degrees at the moment in Peshawar, so ice cold water is very difficult to come by. But yeah, no complaints there, that gets a pass. And next we will try these pretzels, I guess. So I guess these are just sort of like classic base snack. Good carbohydrates, I suppose. Oh, they're sort of stick shaped. They're not like the classic actual pretzel shape. Mmm. Yep, pretty, pretty good. That is a standard pretzel indeed. Could use a little bit more salt, I guess, but no, 
Again, no complaints, that gets a pass. Two from two, the US military is doing all right. Now this is the one that's been interesting me a lot. This is uh, the First Strike Chocolate Flavored Nutritious Energy Bar. And I've noticed this has got more of like a sort of a graphic design on the um, packaging rather than just sort of like the plain Department of Defense packaging. So I wonder if this is made by like an actual company in the US sort of imported them. Oh, first impression is it smells really good. It smells sort of like one of those chocolate oatmeal bars, like a chocolate cereal bar that you might get. We have them in Australia anyway. I don't know if they have them in America. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't realize it was gonna be that consistency, that texture. I thought it was just gonna be like, you know, a piece of chocolate, like a protein bar you get for the gym or something. But it's got more of like a congealed sort of fruit texture, almost like a fruit roll up or something. So let's try some First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. This will give us the energy, I hope, to uh, defeat all of our enemies. Mm. It's very dense and it's sort of crispy as well. I thought it would have been softer. Well, yeah, that's really a workout to chew through, but I suppose, you know, it's an energy bar. It has to be packed full of stuff. Um, flavor-wise, First Strike, Nutritious Energy Bar. It's not bad. It's a bit bland. Um, it's got a decent chocolate flavor, but you can sort of taste, like, the very, like, artificial protein powder or something of the like that they've packed into it. Not something that would be a, you know, a daily go-to for me, but, you know... Yeah, not, not bad, not bad. Now this one I'm very, very interested in because this is cheese spread with bacon. And of course in Afghanistan and in Pakistan as well, Muslim countries, bacon is completely haram. It's not allowed, right? So these were obviously brought over for US troops and then left behind when America left and then looted from bases or wherever and then sold in the bazaars and the markets and the guys selling them either you know, probably don't even know what bacon is. Like, it's not something that anyone would have heard of in Afghanistan, right? And if indeed you don't know what bacon is, lots of my Pakistani friends don't actually. It's sort of like a, it's a pork product. It's, it's like cured pork meat. I don't exactly know how we're going to go about trying and eating this because it's like a, it's a paste, right? It's a spread. So I guess we'll just... Oh, whoa, yeah, immediately that smells like um, instant mac and cheese. Um, it's like Kraft in America, I guess. Oh, and that smells exactly like Kraft, and I must say it's lovely. Oh, and so we're going to be a bit uncouth here, I guess, and just squeeze this into our mouth. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. That is my favorite one so far by a long shot. Just that sort of lovely fake cheese flavor, bacon flavor that I've been missing from home as well. And look at the color of it as well. There is nothing natural about that, but I absolutely love it. Guilty pleasure, big pass, 10 out of 10. And now last, but certainly not least, the pièce de résistance, the menu 24 Southwest style beef and black beans. This thing's like super heavy actually, it's really weighty, I guess it has to be, right? It's a whole meal in one pack. So let's take a closer look at what we've got here. We've got the Department of Defense, United States of America, Menu 24, Southwest style beef and black beans, uh, bouffe à la façon Southwest or haricot noir. I'm sure my French is absolutely terrible, so drop a comment uh, suggesting how I should actually pronounce that. MRE, meal ready to eat individual, warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and warfighter approved. So this, you know, is going to help you uh, win the war. It says ready to eat on the pack, no, but like, it's beef and black beans. I assume this is the sort of meal you'd want to eat hot, right? But like, I don't know, ready to eat means ready to eat, right? So let's just, I guess we'll try it straight out of the pack. Plus, I'm absolutely useless and don't even have a saucepan in my apartment, so I guess we have no other option. So we've opened the pack up, and here is what's inside. We've got what looks like... Wow, right, it looks like a sort of whole meal kit that you have to put together yourself. Huh. So the package said ready to eat. Um, that was clearly a lie, because it's not ready to eat. I have to sort of open up all this stuff and uh, put a bunch of stuff together, it seems. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is like literally an entire meal kit. We've got cutlery as well. So let's see what we've got. We've got tortillas and chipotle. We've got, what's this? This is the Southwest style beef and black beans. We've got, so we've got a cheese spread again. A teriyaki beef stick, that's interesting. 
a spiced spiced apples. Okay, and we've got mocha cappuccino instant powder. That might be nice. I'm missing a coffee. This is MRE trans fat free marble pound cake. And then we've also got what is this? I have no clue what this is. MRE ready to eat heater. Right, so essentially this is sort of like a bag, a satchel I suppose, that you put all of this food in and then I suppose as part of your standard issue military equipment you would have like a sort of a, a food heater, a burner, I guess. Let me know in the comments if that's the case or not. But obviously I'm woefully underprepared to prepare all of this food. Um, so I guess we'll just eat some stuff out of the packets. This is the uh, MRE trans fat free marble pound cake. Oh, it's fine. Pretty bland cake, but I suppose good energy, good carbohydrates. Here we've got the teriyaki beef stick. And it's actually just occurred to me that I don't know how long this food sort of been sitting here for, right? Because like America left Afghanistan almost a year ago now. But I don't know, this stuff's like packaged to last forever, right? It can't be that bad. Yeah, there you have it, Bridgeford teriyaki beef stick. That's not too bad. It's a, literally just a bunch of processed meat. Not amazing, not a filet mignon by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but not terrible. And check out this little information card as well you get with the food packaging. Military rations are good performance meals. You are more active during field training, deployment and combat than in garrison. You need to eat, uh, eat more and drink more water or other fluids in these situations. Interesting, hey? So I guess we'll give our uh, tortillas and chipotle a try now. Okay, cool. It's actually like a full-on, like, already prepared... Tortilla. Is there some sauce inside or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just a flavoured tortilla. Let's try. Whoa. Oh, that's rank. Nah. That is absolutely not the one. I don't know if that tortilla is stale or not, or whether, like, the chipotle flavouring's the thing that's not good, but that is, uh, no. Yeah, that tastes like plastic and, like, paprika that's been expired for, like, a decade. That is not the one. So, what else do we have? We've got some cheese spread. We've already tried the cheese and bacon spread, so we'll leave that. And in this little pack here, you get some condiments and stuff. So I guess this is like a, uh, a lighting brick to light your little thing with. And you also get a, uh, like a moist towelette to clean your hands with, which is pretty cool. And so this is it, the final frontier, our beef and beans that we aren't going to heat up because we don't have a saucepan and we don't have whatever this thing here is, a, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, an MRE, an MRE something or other, a heater I guess, yeah that'll do, a heater, we don't have a military heater um, and so we're just going to have to eat this cold. So we'll grab the only bowl we have in our apartment and... Let's get to it. I must say, I'm really, really not looking forward to this. Oh yeah, that's, that's beans all right. Yeah, I think that'll do us. That'll be enough, I think. It doesn't actually smell too bad. It just smells like a normal burrito mix. But uh, the proof, as they say, is in the black beans. So, cheers. That's acceptable. For beef and black beans that isn't warmed up and is sort of at lukewarm room temperature and that's been kept in an American air base in Afghanistan for probably more than a year. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can see there's like actual big proper chunks of meat in there, which is nice. It's not just like sort of processed something or other. Um, yeah, you know, if I was out in Baghdad Air Base um, and this is all I had for lunch, I wouldn't be too disappointed. And of course the Reese's Pieces which unfortunately I have already eaten because they are my favourite candy in the world. So yeah, something a little bit different today. Um, I thought it was very very interesting the fact that you know less than a year ago people were actually stationed in Afghanistan eating this food and then now you know here I am buying it in a Kabul bazaar after it's been left over, looted and then sold again. Um, yeah, that was just sort of a really interesting thought for me. So, like I said, if you ate this food, if you were in Afghanistan, drop a comment. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know if you're familiar with any of these dishes. And yeah, all in all, I'd say the Department of Defense didn't do too badly with the meals it was serving up. And of course, if you like this video and you want to see more interesting content from Afghanistan, 
please do like, follow and subscribe. Until next time.